Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today's verb is to fuel, to fuel. Now you're probably thinking about your car at this point because that's the noun we use when we put diesel or petrol or gasoline into our cars, depending on where you are in the world. Here in the UK, gasoline is not really very common. But the verb to fuel has a much deeper meaning, and we're going to talk about that today. The reason why we're talking about fuel and fueling is because tonight marks the Earth Hour, the Earth Hour, and landmarks across London will be switching their lights off for an hour as part of an environmental awareness campaign. Previous years have seen Big Ben, the Eiffel Tower, and the Sydney Opera House turn off their lights between half past eight and half past nine. And I think that's half past eight and half past nine local time. So it's probably a bit later in Central Europe. I'm not sure about that. Uh, This is something which has been going on now for a number of years. And it says in this report that I'm looking at on the internet that the World Wildlife Fund would like countries to stop fueling the destruction of nature. Now, let me just elaborate a little bit on this because we're talking about saving fuel as part of climate change. And we're also talking about how the government seem to be fueling the destruction of nature. So I just want to give you some more examples so that it's very, very clear what the meaning is is okay so for example gasoline is a common fuel used to power cars but we can also say setting clear goals can fuel our ambition and drive us towards success inspirational stories can fuel our imagination So in the same way as you can give a car energy, you can give your mind energy. In the same way as you can give your body energy by uh, eating the right food, you can also be fueled by positive feedback from friends. Love and support from family can also fuel our determination to get what we want. So, just to summarize then, fuel is the noun that you put uh, in your car, but to fuel can mean anything which you're giving your energy to, or perhaps someone is giving to you, or you're giving to your body. So fuel can be a mental construction, especially for inspiration and ideas. Setting clear goals can fuel you, and it also can be used to talk about fueling your car, your body, your mind. This is the verb to fuel. Just to give you another more complex example of the word to fuel, the media often fuel speculation about particular people, royals, whoever, 
And so you can hear there that they're basically giving energy to speculation. They're making speculation much more um, powerful by giving it energy, by using it as well. So they're fueling speculation, for example, about Princess Kate or before her some years ago, I remember it was Victoria Beckham, uh, David Beckham's wife. In those days, she was known as Victoria Adams uh, from the Spice Girls. So there was a lot of speculation uh, about who she was going to marry, who she was dating, and the media, of course, fueled that speculation by putting someone beautiful in uh, the front page or on the front page of the newspaper. There's a couple of other things I want to tell you about the word fueling. One is that in American English, the spelling is with one L, but in British English, it usually has two. Now, variations in spelling are often different between American and British English, so you're going to see both. If you are someone who plays games, like uh, I think there's one called, is it w Wordly? Uh, they use American spelling all the time, so you might find that a little bit confusing. The other thing I want to tell you is that we actually have a proverb here about adding fuel to the fire. So, for example, if you have a fear at work that the company might be going bankrupt or may not survive another year, your boss may add fuel to the fire if he confirms that he also has heard rumors. So to add fuel to the fire is to give additional information which makes the fire stronger. So you've basically given it more energy. So in the same way as you can uh, add speculation, fuel speculation, you can also hear about rumors being fueled on particular topics. And we usually use that proverb, oh, well, he added fuel to the fire when he said that he also had heard the company is having problems. Another example might be the managing director added fuel to the fire when he quit last week. Now, just to demonstrate more about fuel, we're going to go through a song. I have the words here. It doesn't directly mention the word fuel, but listening to it might fuel your emotions. And also, it talks about a young man who was fueled by love. So, let's go through it. Uh, the singer, or the singers, it's a group called Brotherhood of Man, and the song is called Angelo. Now, bearing in mind this was the 1970s, you might find it a little bit confusing, because it's all about a young man called Angelo who lived in Mexico, but, well... Probably, if he really was Mexican, his name would be Angel, no? Angelo is an Italian name, so who knows? Maybe he was an immigrant, maybe this was a mistake, or maybe his parents just liked Italian names. But let's go through the song. It says, Long ago, high on a mountain in Mexico, lived a young shepherd boy, Angelo. Of course, a shepherd is the man who looks after the sheep. And then it says, uh, who met a young girl and he loved her so. So, this is very poetic, okay? If you love someone, you can say, oh, I loved her so. 
ending the word with a short word there. So it's quite normal. And also when you want to emphasize something, you can put the words the wrong way round. For example, she was rich. Okay. If you really want to make that poetic, literal and lovely, you can say rich was she. So it says here, long ago, high on a mountain in Mexico, lived a young shepherd boy, Angelo, who met a young girl and he loved her so. Rich was she, came from a very high family. Angelo knew it could never be. And again, it gives the idea of eternity. This can never be, meaning it can never happen. And we often say that to one another for things which seem impossible. Oh, I love her, but it just can't be. And then uh, they tell us that Angelo uh, and this girl, they ran away to their destiny. Running away together, running away forever, Angelo. And then the chorus is running away from danger, hiding from every stranger, Angelo. So it looks like the two of them uh, ran away together. And the group Brotherhood of Man, they're telling us that uh, they knew it wasn't wrong. They found a love so strong. Uh, and then it says, they took their lives at night. That means they killed themselves. Okay, so if you take your life, you're ending it. It's a very polite way of talking about suicide. So just to uh, read these words again, uh, they knew it wasn't wrong, their love. They found the love so strong. They took their lives at night and in the morning light, they, meaning the local people, found them on the sand they saw them lying there hand in hand. And then they basically tell us again, uh, long ago, high on a mountain in Mexico, lived a young shepherd boy, Angelo, who met a young girl and he loved her so. Running away together, running away forever, Angelo running away from danger, hiding from every stranger, Angelo. And then they repeat the same thing about how they knew it wasn't wrong, they found a love so strong, and then by the end of the song, of course, they're uh, dead, yes, on the beach. So it's a lovely song. Uh, don't be put off by the fact that they die in it. Uh, it is actually a very nice song. It has a lovely beat, and I'm sure that will fuel your emotions. It's not exactly disco, but it's pop. It has a nice song. You know, it has a nice rhythm to it, is what I want to say. I'm not going to sing it because I don't want the birds to fly away, but uh, you can Google it or listen to it on YouTube brotherhood of man singing angelo i still don't know if he was an immigrant or whether he simply had an italian name living in mexico interesting isn't it we don't get to know what the girl's name was she could have been local maybe conchita concepcion something like that maybe or maria <laughs> of course a very common name in the latin world but uh, anyway, that's the story of Angelo. So their love for one another fueled their death. And uh, maybe that song will fuel your morning. It, it's quite a cheerful song, despite the lyrics. Honestly, uh, don't be afraid to Google it. It's a lovely song. And that's it from me today. So today's phrase was to fuel... 
and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's talk again soon. See you. Bye.